Just giving this a second to make sure that we are actually going live into our Facebook group. Hello, hello, everybody. I'm Karen Del Maestro, the host of this Craze to Calm show, um, helping you find the calm after the craziness of your breast cancer journey. And I am your self care coach breast cancer and BRCA2 thriver. And you can find me over at karendelmaestro.com. Welcome so much and thank you for joining me here today. So today we're talking about how you can simplify your gift giving throughout the holiday season to preserve your energy. Now, I don't know about you, but most of us are running on really low energy anyway, right? And so how we spend that precious energy becomes really important. And I know it's really hard and I can totally relate to this because it was just three years ago as I was going through my own, like beginning of my breast cancer journey, um, that someone who is normally extremely thoughtful, I normally spend a lot of time researching and finding great gifts for people, and I found myself totally, totally, totally drained and exhausted, right? No wonder. In August of 2018, I had gone through a double mastectomy after my uh, diagnosis in July, right? That in and of itself is a major, major surgery. Just three months later, I underwent a complete hysterectomy. Another big surgery, right? And not just the surgery, not just the recovery, but it's the whole emotional side of it too, getting rid of everything that had enabled me to give birth and nourish my children. And I'm grateful, trust me, that I was able to have that and be able to do that. I know everybody is not able to, um, but still when you've had it and it's taken away, it's tough, it's difficult. Now, I was also just starting on Letrozole and so around the holidays of 2018, I'd just undergone two major surgeries. I was on a life-altering medication, looking to my next upcoming surgery too. So I'm in the middle of that journey, right? As many of you can relate. And I was totally exhausted, really drained. I was healing. I was in pain terrible brain fog, terrible brain fog. I couldn't even think straight. And so even the thinking process about what am I going to get for somebody was so overwhelming and so draining. And it was hard because I had always been somebody that had spent that time and energy doing those things. It trouble staying awake and I didn't sleep very well. It was difficult getting, you know, it's in that for those of you that have had a, a double mastectomy, I re refer to it like it's the T-Rex phase where our arms are like this because my breast tissue went all the way under my arms. So it was a tough time, right? And I could so easily have put a ton of pressure on myself to do what I had always done, but I didn't, I didn't. And I didn't because of thankfully what I have learned to be able to do, and this is what I want to share with you today, is I gave myself permission to switch it up and do things differently. And I encourage you to do the same for yourself, right? Be honest with yourself. How are you feeling? Are you feeling exhausted? Don't put the pressure on yourself to do what you've always done just because you've always done it. I really do encourage and invite you to give yourself permission to do things differently, to rest, to heal, to listen to your body. So as I had gone through all of this, right? And as I knew to give myself permission to do this, it still wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. But then it occurred to me that all I had to do was to simplify everything. In fact, Simplicity became a word. Every year I make a word that I, an intention that I like to follow throughout the year. And after my diagnosis and for actually still, simplicity is one of my favorite words. And so that's what I did. I tried to make it simple. 
And so these were some of the ideas that I came up with, and I hope that they may resonate with you. I hope that they help you. It's not that they're the be all and end all, trust me. Um, but maybe you can take something from this and maybe come up with your own ideas. If you do, please share them with me because I, I love to know, you know, what's going on and um, other people's ideas, you know, when it comes to things like this. So here are my tips, right? Number one, think about setting a budget and sticking to it. Is it me? Am I the only one that knows that breast cancer treatment is so expensive? Yes, it is, even with insurance. And it's not talked about a whole lot, but there's such a financial burden that is put on us throughout this journey. Just adding that extra layer of stress, right? So around these times, set a budget and stick to it. It's okay, right? If we think about it, what are the holidays really about? What do they really mean to you? I know for me, especially after my breast cancer diagnosis, it was about the people that I got to spend it with, the precious time that I got to spend with loved ones when faced with a diagnosis where I didn't even know if I was going to make it, right? That was what was important to me, not what was under the tree or, you know, if, if you don't celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, or whatever you celebrate, right? But there's nothing wrong with st stick, setting a budget and sticking to it because that's what you're financially able to do. Nothing wrong with that at all. Doesn't make you less than. Doesn't mean that you're failing. Doesn't mean you're not good enough. It means you're being sensible and you're taking care of you and not putting extra stress on yourself and your family. It's a pretty big positive if you think about it, right? Yeah. So number two, and I love this one. And actually I, I heard this suggestion years ago and I really love it because um, it's about doing things for people instead of buying things for people. So I am a huge fan of experiences, right? I, my husband, Mike and I have over the years, really, as, as we've moved seven house in, in seven times in eight years, right? We have gotten rid of more and more stuff every time we move. So we're not big possession people. We love experiences. We love to travel. We love to scuba dive. We love to explore and to do things together. Um, and there's nothing wrong with gifts. I'm not saying that, but this is just who we are. And so I came across this suggestion, which was about doing a coupon or a coupon book handmade, right? Doesn't have to be difficult, can be on index cards, can be on post-it notes even, right? If you want to. But instead of the gift of something to unwrap, it's a coupon. Just say, I'm going to do something for you. So maybe it's, you know, I'm going to do the food shopping for you for a week. Or I'll, make, I'll do the dishes. Or let me run you a bath every night. Let me take care of some laundry. Or fold it or put it away. The worst part for some reason. I don't know why. Right? Am I the only one? Something else that I struggled with during my breast cancer because I couldn't fold because I had T-Rex arms, right? So somebody offering to help you with the laundry would be huge, a massive gift, massive, massive gift. So it could be cooking dinner. It could be doing the dishes. It could be going grocery shopping. Like I said, think about the people that you're getting for. Think about what they love. And how you can maybe serve them. Maybe it's just spending time with them, going to a movie, having a movie night, having a pajama party or a sleepover or even afternoon tea. Yes, that's the Brit in me coming out. <laughs> right? It can be anything. But you can get really inventive and it doesn't cost a dime. Right? So I love that. Number three. And this is also, this is actually what I ended up doing. And I continue to do because it just simplified the whole process of gift giving for me, was to theme my gifts. 
Karen, what do you mean? Well, there's a number of different ways that you can theme a gift, right? You can say, okay, this year, everybody's getting a scarf, right? Doesn't mean you can't personalize the scarf for each person. It just simplifies what you're looking for and what you're buying, right? Maybe you're getting it in everybody's favorite color. Maybe you're getting it, um, maybe somebody likes flowers, so you get them something with flowers. Maybe somebody likes space, so you're finding something with planets or something on it. Do you see what I mean? You can do the same for socks, fun socks. There's tons of them out there right now. Scarf and a pair of socks, great gift, right? And just theming it makes it easier. Hopefully you can find one place online that does everything that you need. Um, the other thing, one of the other, my other favorite themes naturally is safer beauty, right? Something that's so important to us as breast cancer survivors. Um, and and you, for anybody wanting to help lower their risk of breast cancer, so our tweens, our teens, um, if they're pregnant, anybody that is really vulnerable, we want to be decreasing our risk of breast cancer and what we put on our body matters. And so my Faith Beauty Counter, Safer Beauty Counter, uh, oh my gosh, where are my words today, right? My favorite Safer Beauty brand is Beauty Counter. It has been, I've been affiliated with them for almost eight years now, right? And so finding one place where you can get gifts for everybody that are meaningful, that show that you care, that is still individual, but it's less time, energy for you. Does that make sense, right? Giving ourselves to permission to do things differently is a huge act of self-care. Huge, right? Not beating ourselves up or putting pressure on ourselves to do things the way that we've always done it just because we've always done it that way. Now, it's time for change. And your breast cancer diagnosis is the perfect catalyst to begin that change, right? Where you get to think about you, about your energy and about where you are willing to spend it because it's our choice. And that's why I'm going to ask you to give yourself permission to do things differently this holiday, right? Take the pressure off yourself. You're not failing. You're not doing anything wrong. You're fighting and you're healing. And that takes energy and time, right? You're adjusting. You're adjusting to what life is like now. Now that active treatment is over. Okay? So just to summarize today, what we talked about, right? Just because something's always been a certain way does not mean that it can't change. You need to make a choice of what works best for you. Not what anybody else is telling you to do, but what you think you should be doing, what works best for you. Be honest with yourself. Be real. Listen to that little whisper in your gut. She doesn't lie. She doesn't lie. She tells you exactly like it is. So listen to her and honor it, okay? So think about setting up your budget. Be realistic. If it's zero, it's zero. That's where number two comes in, right? Those coupons. The coupons where you get to gift something of service to somebody, right? Maybe it's spending time. Maybe it's food shopping. Maybe it's a home-cooked meal. Could be anything. Walking the dog. Could be anything. Think about how you can be of service. Make sure that you're shopping online and saving time. Support your friends with local small businesses or online businesses. That's a great way too to, to be simplify your shopping, right? And then think about theming your gifts. If you're interested in theming them with Safer Beauty, feel free to reach out to me or shopbeautycounter.com forward slash Karen um, It would be an honor to serve you if you need help with your wish list, happy to help you anytime, right? So think about these tips. Take a little bit of time, settle into it. Think about what works for you. If you need help brainstorming, pop over to the Healthy Living After Breast Cancer Facebook community if you're not in there yet. 
we're going to be talking about preserving your energy through the holiday season as we go through uh, the month of December. I know we're still in November, but hey, after Black Friday, we know that everybody on the planet is thinking about the holidays, right? I know, whether we like it or not, that's what's happening. So I want to support you in preserving your energy as we go through what can often be a really stressful time. So, okay, think about your energy. Think about where you want it to go. That's it for today, guys. Again, I'm your host, Karen Del Maestro, self-care coach. And you can find me over at Karen with an I, delmaestro.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you over in the Healthy Living After Breast Cancer Facebook community. Bye for now.